Hello, welcome back. Hi, my name is AJ. I'm back with an amazing video of creating a row. Don't skip the video. Let's create a foliated rope. Add a bezier curve. Press S and scale it as much you want the length of the rope. Press tab and go into the edit mode. Select one point of curve and rotate it on a same position of second point on z-axis. Press A to select all point. Then select left mouse button and subdivide them three times. Now we have nine points. I subdivide them only three times because I'm gonna add here a controller to rotate the rope. If you wanna create large rope, so you will have to add more controller. That's why you can subdivide them more and more times. In object data properties, here is the bevel option. Change radius of the bevel geometry 0.01. Enable this checkbox to fill the gaps. Alright, now it's time to add an armature. Turn on X-ray mode for work deeply. Select first point of the curve and select cursor to select it by pressing shift S. Press tab and add an armature. Press tab, select this bone from here and press R by 90. Press G and drag it on last point of curve. Select this bone and subdivide 4 times. Now switch into the pose mode. Select last bone. Add a spline IK bone constant target bezier curve. Now our last bone is looking very weird. Let's change this change length 16 because total connected bone are 16. You can count if you don't believe me. Come back into the object mode. Now it's time to add controller. Again add an armature. Press tab. Select this bone in the edit mode. Press tab and select this curve by pressing shift. Go into the edit mode. Press Ctrl H to add hook to selected object bone. With this process we have added hook modifier between in this bone and curve point. Let's check this into the pose mode what we have did. Cool but not bad. Again follow this process at last point of curve as we did at last point. Select last point of curve, press shift S, select cursor to select it, press tab, select this bone. Go into the edit mode and duplicate this bone on X axis by press shift D. Press shift S selection to cursor, press tab select this bone and curve by pressing shift and go into the edit mode, press ctrl H hook to selected object bone, select second point of curve and press shift S cursor to select it, press tab select this bone. Duplicate this bone on X axis in edit mode, press shift S selection to cursor, press G and move this bone on Z axis. Set the controller to rotate and scale, select this bone and then curve by pressing shift. Go into the edit mode, again press ctrl H hook to selected object bone. Apply the same process at next 6 points. Select next point, cursor to select it, duplicate this bone, selection to cursor. Move Z axis, ctrl H hook to selected object bone. Again same process. Let's check this process what we have did. We create a basic row without any hesitation, scale it, rotate it, perfectly fine. I hope this process will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.